Well, first semi-final. A heavy hitting tournament here tonight and straight away it's an explosive opening here and trading full belt. The Gypsy King coming. A crowd favourite Tom War here and War by name and War by nature. Closes his man in but huge size to his name War. Watch a Sankura, the Gypsy King, comes to fight. He doesn't care about a crowd screaming behind him. He's going to come and trade with this guy. Big shots on both sides. Big hand from War. The right hand's landed. Well, that's the swing, he's getting screamed at from his corner to use his jab. At the moment he's trying to throw the bombs over the top. And War's closing him down and taking the centre of the ring and utilising his size and trying to bully the Gypsy King here. But Good punches and he looks after himself well here with his back to the ropes. That's under another right hand there. Good evasion, and I'd like to see him put the right hand over the top of that after he swung his head below the, below the hand. He's uh, open. In the south bar, on the back foot for the whole of this round. With a big menace in more ahead of him, but now he's starting to land shots. It's a great opening round for both fighters, though. Well, second of three here. And the big menace in Tom War. In the black shorts and grey gloves, of course. Fighting out the blue corner. In the blue shorts, fighting out the red corner. As well, just the Gypsy King. Good flurry of punches from both fighters. Explosive, this one. The weight in the hands of Tom War isn't worrying the King at the moment. He's fighting very well on the back foot. Good left hand there. The only problem is he gets caught into the corner. Keeps moving back to his left all the time. And he catches a good right hand as he steps in. A little bit swingy at the moment for me, Watt. He needs to just work off his jab a little bit more. That right there is where he needs to jab. He's been caught again. Good fighting on the back foot here. I would say he's winning this round at the moment for me, the Gypsy King. Now, just until this flurry of punches now. He caught him with the cleaner shots before. Now he's taking the damage and it's War who's going to stop him here. I'll tell you what. That is a big turnaround from Tom War because he won the first round, but the Gypsy King for me was scoring the cleaner punches as this round started. On the back foot, but then through comes Tom War and a demolishment. He needs to get out of that corner. He gets trapped in there and that is where he's having damage. Absolutely inflicted on him. Well, third and final round. It's Tom War's fight to lose now. We need a massive round from the Gypsy King here if he wants to have any chance of going through. And this is where he needs to hit. And he does not want to go and find himself in that corner. Good flurry of shots there. There's a good left hand again. War's solid. He's a big unit. It's not rocking him, there's size advantage on him here. Still punching away and trying to find his way in there. He spun 
War around there. And War looks a little bit tired now. It is size, you can't start whacking for that long. And not feel the pressure a little bit. And now he's starting to turn him around. There's that right hand where the power is from War. He needs to set out more of his left hand for me, but I think he's going to go through comfortably in this round. Again, another big shot, but he's rocked him down with that one. Standing eight count for the Gypsy King, and War, you would start to put your money on. He's going to have to come out guns blazing now. He needs to give it everything now. Heart, determination, courage. Let's see what the Gypsy King's got at the moment. He's back in that corner where he's just been tagged. So one of the EPA officials, and he's just asked me who the crowd would think would win out of the Wood Dog and Jones. Who would we go for, crowd? Come on! After three amazing rounds for the four-man challenge, you 